Welcome back YouTube, Reedster here with FAR Gaming, and today I'm showing you how to install Unity Hub on Windows, Mac, and Linux operating systems, as well as giving you a brief overview of the Unity Hub application. Remember, if you find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to my growing channel and let me know what tutorials you'd like to see in the future. Let's jump in. If you're installing Unity on Windows, it's very straightforward. Go to your web browser, type in unity.com forward slash download and you'll hit download for windows once this file is done downloading we'll click on it to run it you'll hit yes i can now close out of my web browser hit i agree i'm going to choose the default destination folder for it to be installed into which is just c slash program files slash unity hub i'll hit install and we're done. Now we can hit finish and run Unity Hub. If you're installing Unity on a Mac, you'll go to your web browser, type in unity.com forward slash download. We'll scroll down and on the left side hit download for Mac. It'll automatically start the download for you. Once that's done, we will click on the file to open it up and hit agree. This will take just a minute to fully open. Once this window comes up, you'll just click on Unity Hub and drag it over to your applications folder and release it. This will actually start copying the application into the applications folder. While that's going, I'm going to close the web browser and here's my applications folder. You can see it's uh, slowly getting put in there. Once that's done, we can hit the X on that top window and then you'll have this on your desktop. You can eject that. And then Unity Hub is right here in the applications folder. Just double click it to launch and we're done. If you're installing Unity on Linux, I'm specifically on Ubuntu right now. Uh, go to your web browser, and then you'll type in unity.com forward slash download. We'll scroll down and hit instructions for Linux on the left side. And then for Linux, we actually have to do these different commands to add the public signing key, uh, add the Unity Hub repository, and then finally we'll update the package cache and install the package. So the way we'll do this is go to activities, type in terminal, press enter, and bring it over to the side. And I'm actually going to just copy and paste these and then press enter, put in the admin password. And now I'm gonna to go to the second one, copy and paste that one and press enter. And then finally, I'm going to just type in the next one, sudo apt update. And then we'll do the last one to actually install Unity Hub. So sudo apt dash git install Unity Hub. Press enter. Once that's done, we can now go up to activities, type in Unity, and there's Unity Hub. Press enter, and there we are. So once you have Unity Hub installed on your computer, uh, this is what the Unity Hub screen looks like. In the top left, you have your account settings, you could manage your licenses, which by the way, if you if you're making less than a hundred thousand dollars in the past 12 months you can just use the personal one the other ones if you start making a hundred thousand dollars in 12 months or more they require you to upgrade to the plus or the pro uh, additionally if you really wanted those extra features of the plus pro or some of the other packages they have feel free to upgrade to those but they're quite a bit of money um otherwise here in preferences 
you have your project location. Whenever you create a new project, new game that you're working on, this is where those files are going to go. So mine are on the D drive in a folder called Unity. And then there would be another backslash and whatever the name of the project is. Anytime you install a new version of the Unity editor, this is where that's going to go, or the files for it are going to go. You could change to a light theme if you really wanted to, and change your language. Uh, under advanced, you have the channels. You can swap to beta if you absolutely want the, the latest features of Unity. Go for it. You go under beta. And that's all for preferences. Right here on the main screen, your projects page, this is where you'll see a list of whatever projects you've currently got loaded into Unity Hub. So I have a project called Destroy the Trees. This is the path on the computer to get to the files. It was last modified 21 days ago. I can see the editor version that I'm building that project with. I could view the files in Explorer or I could remove the project from the list. That only removes it from this list, doesn't actually delete them from the computer. So I could remove these from the list if I don't want to see this one for a while. And then later on, if I'm ready to add a project from disk, you click here, you go find that folder on your computer and it'll pop right back up in here, just the same as it does right now. To see and manage the Unity Editor installs that you currently have, go to Installs on the left side. Right here I can see all the versions of the Unity Editor that I have on this computer. And underneath them you see these bubbles. Those are the modules um, that I have installed with it. Those are for like Android build support or Windows build support, depending on what platform you're building your game for. You can always come back later and add more modules if you decide I'm actually going to change and make this game for iOS or, or whatever you decide. You go back and add those modules again later. Um, but to install a brand new version, we'll go to install editor up in the top right. I'm going to go with the recommended version at the top. If you don't already have it, you're going to get Visual Studio, whatever the latest version is. Mine's 2022. Uh, that is the application you'll use to do your programming and scripting for your game. Again, you can choose what platforms and build support that you need to download with your uh, with your Unity editor. You have your language packs and documentation. I'm going to just stick with the Windows build support and hit install. All right, so that install is complete. I have the new editor application and the Windows build support installed. And so now uh, I'll go back and I'll show you if I wanted to make a new project, just click new project in the top right. You have these different types of platforms that you could choose from. Um, it's like they have the VR core and 2D core, 3D core, all these different ones. Uh, I'm not going to go too in depth on what the difference is between all of these. For the most part, if I'm building a 2D game, I'm going to use 2D. If I'm going to build a 3D game, I use 3D. Even whenever I'm building in virtual reality, I start with just a 3D scene uh, or 3D core. On the right side, you'd give the name of your project. And then the location is going to be the default location. You could pick somewhere else if you really wanted to. And then you create project. That's going to create all the basic files and project files to get you started. Also, uh, something of note is at the top up here, you're going to be able to choose from the different versions of the Unity editor that you have installed. So by default, it's going to use the latest and greatest that you have installed. But you'd create project and then it would open you up in the actual Unity editor ready to start building your game. So I'm going to just hit cancel on this and I'm going to show you a couple more things in here. On the left side you have Learn, which is where Unity has a bunch of beginner courses, other tutorials, all sorts of stuff uh, for you to go through and learn more about game development. 
So this is how I got started back when Unity had some pre-built games and tutorials that you could walk through and learn how the coding works and they had all these free assets for you. I just throw all that stuff into a scene and follow their instructions and I'd start reverse engineering the scripts and that, that's how I really taught myself how it works. Um, this is come a long way since uh, I got started a few years ago, but uh, overall super useful. And then also on the left side, you have this community tab. Um, takes you to the Unity Asset Store, the Unite 2023 registration, all, all sorts of stuff that they have going on. They have their forums, um, answer pages, things like that. Great resources for you, especially starting out if you want to be a part of the community and you know ask your questions to people who have already done this sort of thing or you can drop comments in my videos and i'll help you the best i can that's going to be all for this video i am going to make a part two where i go more in depth on the unity editor application so be on the lookout for that otherwise if you learned something in this video uh, like and subscribe those really help me out quite a bit uh, i'm really trying to grow my channel but if you have any questions or comments, please drop them down in the comments. Let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see me go over with Unity in the future. Please also drop a comment and let me know. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next one.